So I want to talk to the person who might feel lackadaisical. In other words, you can't get up out of bed. You can't get up off the sofa. You feel like I want to do certain things. I have things I want to manifest in my mind, but I just don't have the strength to bring it to pass, to manifest it. It might be connected to depression and you might not know where it come from. But during those times, it is great that you learn how to build up your self-esteem. And I got 10 tips that will help you do it. Number one, self-compassion. Treat yourself with kindness and understand that everyone has flaws and make mistakes. Be gentle with yourself during challenging times. Number two, break down your goals into smaller, achievable steps. Celebrate your success along the way to boost your confidence. Number three, positive self-talk. Change negative thoughts and replace them with positive affirmations. Focus on your strengths and accomplishments. Number four, seek support. Talk to a friend, talk to a family member, talk to a therapist, because every time you share your thoughts will provide valuable, positive, emotional support. Number five, practice self-care because self-care is not selfish. Take care of your physical and mental well-being. Exercise, eat healthily, get enough sleep, and I need to do the same thing, and engage in activities that will bring you happiness and joy. Number six, embrace imperfection. Understand nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect because perfectionism can be paralyzing. So embrace your mistakes as an opportunity for growth. Number seven, set boundaries. Learning to say no when necessary and prioritizing self-care is the best care. Overcommitting can lead to feelings of inadequacy. You never ever want to feel depleted. So number eight, focus on your passions. Engage in activity that genuinely interests you and make you feel accomplished. You always want to feel like you're accomplished. That's why you need to celebrate every step that you take, especially when you're on your way to building up your self-esteem. Number nine, challenge comparison. Avoid comparing yourself to others, especially on social media, because everyone's journey is unique. Finally, number 10, listen, seek professional help. If feeling inadequacy, you know, or if you feel depleted, you know, consider talking to a therapist. You know, if you feel that none of these things work for you. So, hey, listen, this is your boy Donald Francis. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.